Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments, and ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. It's closing weekend here at the new winter meeting at Santa Anita Park, and that means a massive card on Saturday afternoon, including the grade one Santa Anita Oaks featuring the undefeated Philly Songbird for Fox Hill Farms and Jerry Hollendorfer, and it also means the featured event, the grade one Santa Anita Derby for three-year-old males. The race will go a long way in finalizing the West Coast contingent for the Run for the Roses in less than a month away, the first Saturday of May. It's a strong 10-horse field that drew in and will likely run a little bit differently than the most recent prep, the San Felipe. It appears there's a little more speed in this race given the presence of San Pedro winner Iron Rob as well as runner-up. Denman's call who drew the rail and might have his hands forced early. Let's take a look at the field and see what we can make of it. Danzig Candy comes in and drew the three post for trainer Clifford Sice and jockey Hall of Famer Mike Smith. This horse had things pretty easy on the front end, but definitely earned them going out last time in the San Felipe and wiring out a solid field, holding off the late run of more spirit. The question is, will Danzig Candy go to the front end again, or will they try new tactics and get him possibly ready for the derby where he may not make the lead, especially given some of his eight gate issues in the past? I think he'll likely sit off the pace of Iron Rob this time, and it'll be interesting to see if Danzy Candy, who likely will be one of the favorites, can pass horses in the lane or if he's a need-the-lead type. I actually think at some point his lack of experience is going to get to him. Perhaps it's on Saturday. Perhaps he'll run and get another big one, and then maybe flounder in the Kentucky Derby. Then you have Exaggerator, who ran a big one last time out. But to me, I liked him last time. I think the horse has tons of talent. But the more I watch him run, he looks like a one-turn animal to me. Maybe a one-turn mile would be perfect for the Keith DeSormo trainee. I think the best-case scenario for Exaggerator is an underneath finish once again. Then you have the Bob Baffert trainee, More Spirit. The, the son of Escondrea, the PA bred. He appears to be just moving along perfectly for Baffert, who really knows what he's doing, obviously, in getting these horses ready for the Triple Crown. If he progresses like I expect him to on Saturday, he might be my top choice in the Kentucky Derby, even with the presence of Nyquist and other tough ones from the East Coast. I happen to think that more spirit will move forward in this spot, and if the price is right, I would recommend a win wager and perhaps even a win in place wager in this spot. However, the price won't be very big. Also, another horse that I'm interested to see is Smoky Image. The cow bred that was undefeated heading into the San Felipe simply did not fire after being wide throughout Weather Victor Espinoza. It could be one of those cases where he's outclassed, but it also could be a scenario where he simply just regressed and did not run his race in the San Felipe. If he runs back with Victor Espinoza on board for Carla Gaines, he could be a factor in the Kentucky Derby, but that remains to be seen. It's a bit of a wild card. You also have the presence once again of Uncle Lino for Gary Sherlock. They take the blinkers off, and they will likely sit off the early pace of Iron Rob and Danzig Candy and potentially Denman's Call, who's an interesting long shot in this spot. I think he might want to go two turns, and perhaps he just did not have have it with Iron Rob on the lead in running at second at two to five last time out in the San Pedro. So not crazy about the betting involved in this race. I do think more spirit moves forward once again and stamps himself as a huge derby contender. However, I still haven't seen that punch out of him to make me think that he's definitely in a spot to win. I know Baffert just wants to move him along nice with the major goal being the Triple Crown, but this horse seems to be doing everything right, and while he doesn't have that punch, he never really seems to stop, which is going to be key as they stretch out further and further in the big races. So, look at more spirit. If he's over 5-2 to two or so, I'd recommend potentially giving him a look in the win pool. But overall, I think this is a race we want to watch to get a feel for the Kentucky Derby and where the horses stand there. It should be a good one regardless. Looking forward to it. Good luck to all the connections, and good luck to you. Let's have a big weekend to close out this Santa Anita Park meet.